Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another of these brand new Paleo Revived figures, and this time we are back with another articulated figure as we have the Smilodon. And what's really cool about this is it's the very first time we've had a prehistoric mammal in the line as well, and it's again another figure that was not made by Mattel, which was very strange. There, are, You know, every once in a while there's like this species that will pop up in some form of Jurassic media and you absolutely expect one to come out from Mattel and they just don't do it similar you know the Spinoceratops like we already had in the Paleo Revived line earlier they didn't make one for that and uh, you th you would think that would be like an obvious choice same deal with the Smilodon again the Smilodon appeared in Camp Cretaceous and that's a pretty popular species you would definitely have expected Mattel to have made one but nope so now we have one here from Dino Mike Mac again and the Paleo Revived line and just like with all of the other figures it is one that shows up you know unpainted you have to paint it yourself but it's also one that shows up with articulation and that's always fun too so definitely excited about this one it was my first time ever painting a Smilodon so I don't know how good it turned out hopefully it turned out at least semi okay but for my first time you know as far as a Smilodon goes I'm pretty happy with it but the only way to truly tell how nice the figure is as always is with a closer look so let's jump to it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of our Smilodon, you can see it does look really quite nice. We've got some very nice fur detail up here in the face. You can see very fine fur as you lead up into the snout. You can see a bit scruffier fur as you lead back here closer to the ear and the cheek area. Definitely gets a good bit scruffier in that area. You can also see the eyes are sculpted out. I gave them a bluish tone and you know hopefully that plays off of the color of the Smilodon at least decent enough. The ears are sculpted as well, and you can see they look quite nice overall. Very nice, again, very fine fur, which you can see there on the ears. The mouth is sculpted in an open position. You don't have an articulated jaw or anything on this one, but you can, of course, see our saber teeth right there in the front of the mouth. You can also see the teeth on the inside, if my camera would focus, the teeth on the inside of the mouth of the Smilodon as well. If you look at it from the front, you can kind of see... Ah, trying to find that good angle. You can see the tongue in there and stuff when it comes to the Smilodon looks pretty nice as well. As you lead back here, you can see that we've got some very nice scruffier fur as you lead further back into the neck of the Smilodon. You can also see a little bit of bulkiness as well as kind of like some muscle tone or tensing in the neck of the Smilodon if you get it at that perfect angle. As you continue to move back, you can see how impressive of a Smilodon we have here, especially when it comes to the size and like the shoulder area. It's just a very big and bulky shoulder area for the Smilodon. And again, the fur detail looks really nice. It's actually very easy to paint because the fur detail is so crisp on the figure. As you lead down, you can see the front leg looks very nice as well. Again, same deal with the fur. You can see that we do have an area of articulation in that front leg which moves very nicely. And then as you lead down, you've got the paws that are sculpted quite beautifully as well. You can see the toes specifically and everything. The nails are actually sculpted there onto the Smilodon. As we continue to move along, leading back into the waist area, you can see how it becomes a little bit more thin, showing us, I guess, that our Smilodon is in really good shape as you would expect it to be. Definitely a very nice, healthy Smilodon. The fur detail again continues to look really good, much scruffier as you go higher up into the back, finer as you go further down into the bottom, especially as you lead down into the underside of the Smilodon. As you lead back here, you can see the rear leg looks very nice as well, and just like with the front leg, you do have articulation back here, so you can articulate that leg around basically just forward and back. And then you lead down again into the rear foot. You can see the rear foot also looks really well done. Again, the toes sculpted out, the nails sculpted out. You can see the fur, especially as you lead down into the areas that I painted with the white, you can really see how that fur pops quite nicely. And then you lead out and you do have the tail for our Smilodon out here kind of extending out of the back of the animal. And then as you turn it around and you take a look at it from the opposing side, you're going to see pretty much the same thing over here again. Even though it is articulated, it is completely standing in a neutral position unless you pose it and display it however you would like. But 
I think it looks great, honestly, from all angles. Definitely a really nice figure, and I'm really excited to have a Smilodon in this line because, again, that gives us so many possibilities as far as other prehistoric mammals that could be made and added to the Paleo Revived line. Honestly, when it comes to this line, the possibilities are endless. So definitely really happy to see a Smilodon now in this line. As far as a size goes, for a length from the snout to the tail, just shy of four and a half inches, or uh, closing in on 11 and a half centimeters, but not exactly there. And then for a height, just a hair under two and a half inches, or a hair under six and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect A Human Being next to our Paleo Revived Smilodon. And you can see again, it's got a pretty darn nice size to it. It's not by any means a huge Smilodon. It's a very nice, very conveniently sized Smilodon. And for another comparison to further show you that, we've got a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus stepping in again for another comparison here to continue to give you an idea as far as how the Smilodon sizes up to these figures and then when it comes to a smilodon comparison we actually have the very popular mojo fun version here next to the paleo revived version helping to give you an idea of the fact that it's a little bit smaller than the mojo fun version however if you bring in the older version from mojo fun you can see that one is pretty similarly sized maybe slightly larger same thing can be said pretty much for the TNG Smilodon, which you can see is, again, just a little bit bigger than our Paleo Revived version. And then for a comparison with two different Paleo Revived figures, we have the Ornithomimus here next to our Smilodon, as well as the Morose from the Paleo Revived line, again for another comparison. And then one final comparison between two different figures that I was just speaking of a little bit ago when it comes to species that Mattel for some reason neglected. We have the Smilodon and Spinoceratops next to each other. So this Smilodon from the Paleo Revived line is another very cool figure. And again, considering it is a prehistoric mammal, that makes it even more cool because we just don't get enough prehistoric mammals. Sure, we have lots of Smilodon figures out there. We don't have very many when it comes to an articulated version, which is a plus for this one. But, you know, as a whole, prehistoric mammals are that one thing that are consistently overlooked. And I don't know why, because they're absolutely amazing. But it is pretty cool to at least have one now in the Paleo Revived line. Dino Mike Mac really is providing us with a lot when it comes to this line. Again, you know, straight out of the gate, we've got dinosaurs, we have pterosaurs, we have prehistoric mammals. You've got a lot going on in this line. Even hybrids of dinosaurs that technically aren't even real. So, again, very, very cool stuff. And this Smilodon is just like the others really nicely sculpted you've got some beautiful fine detail very nice fur detail moving through the course of the entire figure again it is i believe based on the smilodon from camp cretaceous which now thinking about it and looking back i probably should have given it that color scheme but i was just kind of excited to go and paint a smilodon so i went with this color scheme because this was the one that i kind of enjoyed and just wanted to try my hand at giving it that kind of color scheme. And I'm really quite happy, actually, with the way it turned out. And uh, again, for my first try on a Smilodon, it's pretty nice, kind of. I mean, for the most part, my paint scheme is okay. The sculpt is fantastic. My paint is pretty decent, I guess. But again, it definitely resembles the Smilodon from Camp Cretaceous, in my opinion, quite nicely. And again, sports all the type of detail you would expect to see. And also has articulation, which is really fun. You've got four different areas of articulation, which is only the legs, basically. No articulated jaw or anything on this one, which we have had on quite a few of the other articulated figures. But it is still just in general nice to have, you know, articulated legs on the Smilodon. The fact that these figures even have articulation, honestly, is crazy to me to... Just not even know that Dino Mike Mac is releasing figures and then to jump straight into it and actually have articulated joints. That's something that normally people have to work on for a while to figure out, but he definitely caught on very quickly. But just like with the others, if you are interested in grabbing this, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that, of course, by purchasing from Dino Mike Mac. And I will include the link to his Instagram account in the description as well, which I highly recommend you follow to stay up to date on everything Dino Mike Mac is working on and releasing. So make sure you do all of that fun stuff and also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.